Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Dees, this is my workshop. Today, we are gonna do a top five. Today's top five is going to be top five shop-made lathe accessories and add-ons. Things that I made that I use every single time that I use this lathe. I wanted to recap some of the projects that I've worked on, some of the modifications that I've done to this lathe, some of the things that I use that I think I, that you might find useful if you get one of these mini lays and decide that you want to do some upgrades to it. Here's the top five. Number one, I wish I had done this one a long time ago, is a lathe carriage stop. The lathe carriage stop, you can actually mount onto your lathe ways, your lathe bed, and set whatever depth of turning or cut that you want to make. And that way you can stop your carriage with a positive stop, a, a, a positive reinforcement that will actually keep the carriage from moving any further. It helps prevent you from crashing into your lathe chuck and it also helps get that consistent depth for whatever you're turning. And if you want to replace a part, you can, you can kind of repeatability is, is really the key. I made two styles of it. I'll insert a close-up shot of those pictures of those here. But in addition to that, I've got those right here. This was my first uh, option that I made. Just a couple pieces of flat stock. You can see that you can mount that in the lathe on the ways bed. This piece here will pinch it up underneath and then you can rotate this upright to kind of push against any part of the carriage that will actually stop it. This works very well, but I went ahead and made a different style, which I actually use all the time. This one lives on the lathe. I cut the angles and everything to match the lathe ways, and it's a two-piece, it's a two-piece unit. Goes in here. Every lathe might be a little different, so you may have to modify your design. But you can see you mount that in there. That clamps onto the underside of your lathe ways. This rides on the the V of your ways, and then you can take this rod or put anything in there you want. Some people use a sacrificial cap head screw. I went with this rod option. And you can ride, ride that in and out to really get some fine tune adjustments. You can also add different accessories and things onto this uh, as it's mounted on the lathe. So I wish I had made this a lot sooner. I use this all the time. The next thing that I did a long time ago, but I use every single time that I use this lathe is quick change tool post lock lever that I made. So it comes, usually these things will come with like a nut or a bolt that goes on top and you got to use a wrench and you can crank it down and lock it. You got to use a wrench to unlock it. But then you find yourself using a wrench every single time you're using a lathe because you're going to shift and rotate your, your uh, quick change tool post. So you want you know, you're going to have to have that laying here all the time. I went ahead and made a mechanism with a bolt that's threaded and I have a quick change tool post lock lever and I can quickly unlock it, rotate it, lock it right back in. I don't need wrenches laying around. And the other thing I made was some knobs that weren't uh, crazy red or whatever, just so that I could easily grab onto these things. But I highly recommend a uh, permanently mounted quick change tool post lock lever. You're going to use that every time you use this lathe if you're using a quick change tool post. The next modification, kind of hard for you to see, I'll put a picture right here. Is a carriage lock. That's this down here. When you're, you're going to use this every time that you're facing off a piece of uh, work material or your work piece. The reason you have to do that is the pressures of the lathe are going to want to push back your carriage away from your material and you're going to end up with curved or bowed or not actually perfectly parallel faced off round stock or whatever you're working on. So you're going to want to lock that carriage. So you bring it in where you want it, you lock it, then it doesn't move, you take your cross cut, you unlock it, bring it in a little farther, take your cross cut until you have your face cleaned up carriage lock. This one has the carriage lock built in, but it was a cap head screw. Again, I had to have an Allen wrench laying alongside the lathe and use that every time I wanted to lock it. 
creating a, a permanent little handle here and just with a lever, fantastic. I highly recommend that you create a mechanism that just lives under here and you can easily lock and unlock your carriage anytime you need to. Number four, I'll insert a picture here of lathe chuck key holders. I find this, you can see these here, these are not only a safety issue, but they're also so such a convenient place for you to put your chuck keys. You want to be able to make sure that you practice safety. Don't leave these things in that chuck. You turn that thing on, if this is in there, it's going to fling around and be a big projectile. Very dangerous. So having these conveniently placed up here on your lathe makes... It's a, it's a great upgrade. You can easily get to your lathe chuck and then it's so convenient that you can just put them right back away and they're not sitting in your chuck. Lathe chuck key holders. Number five, it's, it's more of an accessory or an add-on, but I use this thing with almost every project. Tailstock die holder. I made this thing out of some inch and a half steel, hot glued it, I use this thing, I can put my die in here, clamp it down, put this in a Jacob style chuck in the tailstock. I know it's concentric to my workpiece and I'm able to use a die to thread whatever I'm working on. I use this thing more than I ever thought I would. Easy project to make, highly recommend that you do. Go for it, tailstock die holder. I'll put a picture in here for you. So that's the five top shop made tools and accessories that I made for the lathe. I'm going to give you a bonus because I think it's also equally uh, usable. I use it every single time I use this lathe and I think you should make one as well. There's several different designs out there, but make a quick change tool post tool holder holder system. storage system, whatever you want to call it. There's different styles where you can have some flat bar and hang, hang your quick change tool posts off the, off the side of it. I recommend that you figure out something that works for you. I made a small, I think I can get nine onto this board back here. I used some wood pegs and I'm able to slide my quick change tool posts in here to store them all. I can quickly get to them and I can see, more importantly, I can see the tips of the different tool tooling that I have mounted in these. It just, you know, depending on what you're doing, you're gonna want something that's more left oriented or center. You want a chamfer bit, you want a centering, you want some high speed steel. Whatever it is you want, I can quickly look over here, find what I need, grab it, and put it in my quick change tool post. One thing I didn't like about some of the ones that hung sideways, you couldn't really see the profile of your tooling. And so I opted out of that and made this piece. The other, the nice thing about this one is I can move it around. I can put whatever, wherever I need. I thought about mounting it up on the wall, but ultimately I think just having it freestanding works well. I thought about making another one that can hold a little bit more tooling, but uh, so far I think, I think that's about right. Anything I don't use beyond nine or ten tools, might as well put in this in storage because I don't use them that often. I hope everybody enjoyed that. This is these workshop top five shop made lathe accessories and add-ons that I use every single time I fire up this lathe. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It really helps the channel. I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.